In this lecture, I will discuss resonance. Resonance is a key component of valence bond theory and it arises when Lewis Todd diagrams cannot explain the actual structure of the molecule or ion. Let us take the example of carbonate ion. CO3 2 minus. The Lewis structure of carbonate ion is like this. Now you can see that all the three oxygen atoms are at different places in space. So it would be distinguishable if I number them as 1, 2, 3. Here in this case we can have two more valid Lewis structures. Let me give this first Lewis structure the name as a. The other two Lewis structures of carbonate ion are like this B and C. Now all these three Lewis structures are having one carbon oxygen double bond, two carbon oxygen single bonds and eight lone pair of electrons. So you can see that all the structures are similar but in reality they are not identical. The position of carbon oxygen double bond makes them different and this has happened due to the delocalization of electrons that means electron pairs to be more accurate lone pairs and electron pairs in the pi bonds have been moved around. See in case of A the carbon oxygen double bond is between the carbon and oxygen 2. In case of B the carbon oxygen double bond is between the carbon and oxygen 3. In case of C the carbon oxygen double bond is between the carbon and oxygen 1. So you can see that the structures are not identical but they are all valid Lewis structures. So this situation when we can draw two or more Lewis structures of the same molecule or ion that differ only in placement of their electrons is called resonance. In the situation of this resonance, the different Lewis structures we draw are called resonance structure or contributing structures or canonical structures. Here A, B, C are the resonance structures of carbonate ion. Now to show that the individual structures are related by resonance, we use double headed arrow. Now which one of these three structure is the actual structure of the ion? Let us try to find out. In case of A, we have one carbon oxygen double bond and two carbon oxygen single bonds. If A is the actual structure of the carbonate ion, then by experiments we should have one shorter bond that is carbon oxygen double bond and two longer bonds that means carbon oxygen single bonds. Now measurements of B and C would give similar results as they are also having two carbon oxygen single bonds and one carbon oxygen double bonds. But in reality all the bond lengths are equal. The bond lengths are in the range between the carbon oxygen single bond and the carbon oxygen double bond. So none of the structure completely describe the actual structure of the carbonate ion. The actual structure of carbonate ion will look like this. 
these dotted lines indicate the partial double bond characters in all the carbon oxygen bonds that means that all the carbon oxygen bonds are equal in length and this bond length is going to be in the range of carbon oxygen single bond length and carbon oxygen double bond length so you can see that this explains the experimental findings of carbonate ion so this d is the actual structure of carbonate ion now we can explain the formal charges on the oxygen atom also see in every resonance structure we have two formal charges on the two oxygen atoms as we have three oxygen atoms in one Lewis structure that means every oxygen atom will have negative 2 by 3 formal charges on top of them so this D appears to be a combination of A, B and C or you can say that this D is a simultaneous hybrid of all these three resonance structures D has features derived from A, B and C but it is never just A or B or just C that is why this D is called resonance hybrid so the definition of resonance hybrid will go like this the resonance hybrid is the approximate intermediate of the resonance structures which can explain all the properties of molecule or ion. We can convert one resonance structure into another by using this curved arrow. This is the tail and this is the head. Tail is the source of electron pair and head is the acceptor of electron pair now when i say electron pair i mean lone pair and electron pair in pi bond because these electrons can be easily delocalized now there are only three moves possible for curved arrow mechanism first one is pi to pi bond here electron pair from this pi bond moves to the adjacent bond position to make a new pi bond and hence we get this resonance structure the second move is pi bond to lone pair here electron pair from this pi bond move to the adjacent atom and become a lone pair and hence we get this resonance structure the third move is lone pair to pi bond this lone pair moves to the adjacent bond position to make a new pi bond and hence we get this resonance structure now let us try to use the curved arrow mechanism to convert one resonance structure of carbonate ion into another resonance structure this is the first resonance structure of carbonate ion now for your understanding i am using red color for this lone pair and blue color for this pi electrons now the first curved arrow move is lone pair to pi bond this lone pair will form a pi bond between this carbon and oxygen 3 but in that case this carbon atom will become pentavalent and that is why the octet rule will be violated then so we have to perform one more curved arrow and that is pi bond to lone pair so this pi bond will form a lone pair on oxygen atom 2 so finally we will get another resonance structure of carbonate ion and that is B similarly we can convert this structure B into another resonance structure of carbonate ion like this 